Hey everybody, how's it going? We will be watching um, the 1955 Quatermass experiment. I'm really, really excited to see kind of what is going to go with this one. Um, it's been a long time since I watched the BBC series as well, so be interesting to see if there's any similarities between the two, if they've kind of stuck to the story um, of this one. But I don't think it's a very long film, this um so it shouldn't take that long to get through, um, but I'm just going to get straight on into this. Let's go. <laughs> I would love to know what is funny. Go check the horses. It's probably a meteor, isn't it? I like that win woman hanging out the window. Bracknell. You'll be all right. They'll take care of you. I happen to be concerned with the Ministry of Defence. And I'm not a civil servant. I'm a doctor. And I happen to be concerned with three men. All right, there. Open up. Aye, aye. Chasing the girls again. Aye, I think it was a bank holiday the way they come flocking out. I'd like a flock home. This lady's got an interesting voice. Q1, Q1. This is Marsh. Hello, Karoon. For four hours. I suppose you'd like me to open it up right now, huh? One blast of air in against that heat, it incinerate them. Some reporters here from London. You deliberately launched that rocket without waiting for official sanction. Oh. If the whole world waited for official sanction, it'd be standing still. <sighs> when we launch the second rocket, you can't stop the it now. Rocket. You mean I can't Google. stop you now? What a brilliant face, this guy. This is Marsh calling Q1. Marsh calling Q1. And it came through. Oh. It's kicking off. Pull up. Volume, pull up. Coming from inside. Can you hear me? You've landed in England. We're here, not 50 yards from Welcome you. Welcome to England. Right? Probably not the requested destination, but never mind. Get an ambulance moved in. Watching this is cost. Me, How much the production would have cost? All set. Set, sir. Start it up. There's so many props in this. Minus 10 to pressure. Two. Oh, shit. One. Look, I've got all the pillars out of the lot. Zero. I'm so nervous just because the door's opening so slowly. I think they're dead. <gasps> the access chamber to the motors. They're not there. They're not there. I mean they're not there. I mean they're not in the rocket either one of them. Three become one. What is it you're trying to tell me? I'm not trying to tell you anything. Something's happened. They're not there. I don't think he can talk. First green. Christ, it's kicking off. Inspector Lomax. When three men take off in a rocket and only, and only one, one comes, comes back. back. Directly, that leaves minus two. And minus two puts us in the embarrassing position of having to investigate plus one. Look what a scientific experiment sure done now. I'm the best qualified for that assignment. Good day, Inspector. Shouldn't be alive, but he is. Can't yeah, you something to increase the metabolic rate? Tried everything. I could be wrong about a limb, but not about the shape of the bones. There's been a change. I'm convinced of that. Hi. Is he any better? But can a hospital do more than you can do? Would a hospital know what goes on out there? Nothing's going to help him, really, is it? Side of the air. There's a whole new world out there. I genuinely doubt anything will help this man. Thanks. You'll stay with him, won't you, Judith? I only wish I could do more. Oh, I, I genuinely like. They need to give him something to eat. What about them? They don't yeah. match. Do you know? I've got to give like films from this era credit. The set design and like the cinematography is beautiful. Looks like gloop. Any more of this? Even just the subtlety of like the dirt on that guy's jumper. It's brilliant. Something beyond our understanding. Oh, this guy is dead. This guy is dead. I'm just waiting for the jump to come and I'm absolutely bricking it inside. Present the dead remnants of cell tissue. What sort of cell tissue? Could be animal, could be human. Human? Good then. Almost beyond human understanding. Hello. Some 
fantastic invisible force. Yes, no, turn around. Two men. Oh my god, he literally just like shoved him in. That was a quick cut. He's going to the central clinic. They can't look after him All here. Right, Send them to the clinic. Well, I don't know what the old man will say. Listen, you tell your old man that our old man said if he didn't get this print, he'd dynamite the building. <gasps> it's Hawks. Film is ready. What worked? Automatic prism. It cuts in the panel reading. I like how clever this is. Yeah, they're floppy. And I bet that's it. Give me 15 minutes. I'll put him in the lift and send him down. Oh, oh hell. Evening. I'm from Casualty. Perkins is sick. I'm the man who's going to get you out of here. Don't think he cares. It does? Good. Well, we don't have too much time, so... Why, well, usually employ me to get them away from their husband. <laughs> hey, come on, hurry. That's the boy. What have you got there? Cactus. What are you hiding? He's gone down to dock. Took the blood out of the other two and now it's using Karun. And it's found mm -hmm. other forms of light. The cactus. Must have food. Eat. Yeah. Oh, look at that Lucas head sign. Are you in pain? A little bit, yeah. Is it something to do with your arm? Oh, there's poor lad. What do you think he was doing here? Well, one thing he was doing, he was just not certain. Oh. Get your national health prescription here. Doesn't actually take long for it to wear off though, does it? Like, he, look, it's, it's always continuously having to find somebody else. Oh, I think this kid's a goner. And there's just the two of us today. We'll have our own tea party. He's just thinking, lunchtime. No. A kid told her mother. Yes? About two hours ago. Hold it, please. <gasps> now, now, shut up, Simba. You've had your dinner. It's time to go to bed. Go on, off you go. Shh. Go on, don't stand there gaping at me. Off you go to bed. Zoological Gardens. They sense him. They sense him. Oh, please don't. They're so freaked out. Well, what was left of them? Look. Look at that. Jeez. I like how the peps please don't show you what it is. Shape of thing to be looked for now. There is no living thing on earth that stands a chance against it. Bow Street. With friends. Salvation Army. The embankment. What did you see this oh. time? Oh, We're at the end of the street. I saw something. It was a giant cactus. Something enormous. A drunk lady <laughs> has found him, basically. Oh, bloody hell. Suppose it had reached the mice. Yes. Yes, of course. All right, camera one, titles are in. We'll be on you in five seconds. Yeah, kill transmission. Line globe, fill in, will you? I'll get back as soon as possible. Yep. 
Say my mum. They're not even bothered about Lionel. Oh. Battle seat, stand by. <laughs> gonna need some help. Help, sir. What are you gonna clean it up? Gonna start again. I really, really enjoyed watching this. I think this was a brilliant little film. As I said, I'd only remember the um the BBC version, which I think aired a couple of years before this. But I really enjoyed this. I didn't like the whole aspect where all the animals died. Um, I can't recall if that happened in the BBC one or not, but I don't remember anything kind of like that. If it did happen, I've obviously just kind of blotted it from my memory. But the, the makeup and the sets, the cinematography in this, I thought was just utter delightful and it really added to the atmosphere of this then obviously you've got the score which just helps everything along as well um, I just love films like this I think they're absolutely brilliant it moved at, at, at such a good pace the narrative flowed very well so you didn't really notice it so much because you were enjoying it so much I guess and um, thanks very much see you later